watching and coming back and being here um i'm going to be doing a valentine's day look i don't think i've ever done a valentine actually i have done a valentine's day look a long time ago like years ago it was so long ago i'm not going to be in the united states on valentine's day um which actually i don't even celebrate valentine's day i celebrate logan's day because that is my wedding anniversary so i'm going to attempt to do a valentine's day tutorial hopefully you guys like it um first i'm going to do my foundation which you guys should already know how this goes um i like to spray my face with fix plus I'm going to use my MAC Face and Body Foundation with, well first I'm going to prime my face. I'm going to use my Tarte Clean Slate Primer. My skin is clear, like I don't have any pimples, any bumps right now at all, which makes me happy. But the thing about my skin is, like when I have on makeup, you can definitely tell that my skin is not in 100% even texture. I have to use a primer when I want my skin to look flawless. None of my foundations are my color, I've gotten so light. Then none of my foundations on my color. I need to get a tan. Okay, so this is Prolonged Concealer in NC42. I'm going to mix that with my foundation because my um, foundation is too dark. All my foundations are too dark. I need a lighter one really bad. And I'm going to mix all of that together. It looks really bright, but it'll be fine. We're going we're gonna to fix it in a second, guys. Don't worry. So we're going to do our brows. And you guys, I just got my eyebrows done the other day, and that is why they are on so much fleek. I really don't even use this brow product that much anymore. I don't know why I'm using it right now, actually. I'd rather just use a pencil. What I've been using to contour my face is a lot different than what I used to use. I do not use powder to contour my face anymore. This is my palette that I made of um, black opal foundations, the cream stick foundations. And I have suede mocha, which is the darkest one. And I take some of that on a Real Techniques Expert Face Brush. And I just use it to contour my face. Like so. And I do my forehead. I actually probably should have put some more foundation on. And the reason why I'm contouring first is because I'm going to put eyeshadow on. So I don't want to like mess my eyeshadow up while I'm contouring. I'm going to put some of this on my um, crease too. I concealed a little bit with my Kat Von D foundation. Because um, it was looking like, no. I'm going to do my eyes. And then I'm going to come back to the rest of my face. So first what I'm going to do is I'm going to do my eyeshadow. I'm going to take a fluffy blending brush. This is the Sigma E25 blending. I love this one. In my crease, I'm going to start off with taupe because it's my transition color. I love taupe here. And work that into my crease very lightly. And putting that contour color down first helps kind of blend out that color. So, blending out that I think there was something already on this brush because this is looking kind of purple. So I did a purple look for my birthday. That's probably why. I'm going to take taupe on the bottom lash line as well. Deep purple, I think. This is a really dark color, so you're going to be really careful with this. Put it on the right here on the outer corner. Right there. Kind of, kind of do like a rounded shape. Kind of work that into the crease a little bit. In padding motions. Gonna drag it down just a tad bit under my eye. 
This is gonna look like you've been beat up, but it's gonna be sexy in a second, I promise. I'm going to take a blending brush that doesn't have anything on it, hopefully, and I'm going to blend that out. And you wanna take your time and just blend it, blend it, blend it. If you need to, put some taupe on your brush just a little bit to kind of blend out some of those harsh lines or anywhere you may have messed up. Okay. I'm not pressing hard or anything, I'm just blending out these lines. I have expensive pink right here. This is not really like a pink color, it's more of like a rose gold color, which I dig. Um, I actually did my friend Amber's makeup for her wedding and I used, I bought this color specifically for the wedding because I thought it was so pretty. And I'm just patting that all over my lid. This is gonna be the base color for a brighter color we're gonna put on top so that it has some iridescence poking through. I'm also gonna put that on the inner corner just a little bit. Now I'm gonna take the Lorac Pro palette, I'm gonna take the color Champagne and a little bit of light pink, Champagne, light pink, Champagne, light pink. And I'm just mixing that with that rose gold color to make it like a light frosty kind of pink. I'm putting Garnet, which is this color, on the outer corner of that just to kind of blend in some red. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing guys, I'm just making some up as I go. We'll see how it turns out. I'm gonna use this color, this is Beauty Marked. I'm going to mix a little bit of that in with that crease color on the outer corner. Just to add a little more depth. And I'm gonna blend that out. And to add some warmth to this look, because I feel like it's just all dark and mysterious looking. I'm gonna take this red and tap that in there. Blend that into the crease just a little bit. And I'm going to highlight my brow bone with MAC Superb. I'm gonna highlight now. Actually, wait, I gotta finish my eyes. Hold on. Hold on, guys. Hold on. Okay, now I have my lashes on. I'm gonna use my pro, my, um, just kidding. I'm gonna put on my mascara. For, well, no, no, I'm not gonna do that. This is my NC 25 NC 30 pencil, and this is like a concealer pencil almost. It's a chromographic pencil from MAC. And I'm going to fill in my waterline with that. I'm gonna put on my concealer first and then I'm gonna put on my mascara. So this is LA Girl Pro Concealer in medium beige. And this will help to clean up my eyeshadow under here. some powder to set that concealer. So, why am I so all over the place right now? I'm so weird, oh my god. I'm gonna use my banana powder. I'm gonna blend everything out and blend it all together, make sure it all meshes with my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Dark Golden. Tap that all over my face to blend out everything, to make sure it all blends together. Use Lovejoy by MAC. I'm going to apply that to the apples and back. Uh, highlight.
right, which would be, oops, my favorite, soft and gentle. You could easily do a burgundy-ish, deep burgundy-ish lip. My favorite would be Sephora Cream Lip Stain in number seven. Um, I will show you guys what that looks like. Oh dear gracious me. I can't open it. Oh, that was scary. Look, I love having a mustache. Welcome to Germany. Okay, that was the mailman. I feel like this is a lot going on for this eye look because the eye makeup is so dramatic. But you could definitely wear it if you wanted to. Um, Rimmel's Lip Liner in Rich. You can use a brown lip liner if you want, but I'm going to use this one. Because it has like a very undertone to it. Angel by MAC. Angel is one of my favorite pink lipsticks ever because it's more of a nude pink. It's not as bright, you know. And that's what it looks like with a pink lip. You could also do a nude lip if you wanted to. I think I like the pink. Oh my god, I have some heart earrings. Wait, this is just so hard. So I hope that you guys like it. And if you do, give me a thumbs up. Yeah, I will talk to you guys in my next video. Okay?